Well, hello everyone. Welcome to this week's uh, fruitful video. We're in the Old Testament this week. First Kings chapter 19, verse 11 through 13. This is a reading that comes up at the end of the week. And it, it involves Elijah. And just to set the stage a little bit, Elijah is feeling um, down. He's feeling alone. There is this queen who is killing all, off all of God's prophets. And Elijah feels like he's the only one left. And so God tells him to go out to this mountain because he's about to pass by. And so there's Elijah, you know, waiting for God to show up, waiting for God to do something. And <clears throat> what happens first is a whirlwind, a strong wind, which is crushing rocks. It's so strong. And surely Elijah expects God to be in that powerful whirlwind. You know, he's going to come and, and sweep away the, the wicked queen and all the evil. But God wasn't in the whirlwind. And then next comes an earthquake. And Elijah must have thought, you know, this is God coming to, to shake things up, to make things right. But God wasn't in the earthquake. And then finally there is a fire, a great fire that consumes everything. And surely, again, Elijah must have thought, this is God. You know, this is God coming as a consuming fire just to, to take over, to pay back, to get revenge, to save his people. And yet God wasn't in the fire. And then the Bible tells us that God come, God came. Next, there was a gentle whisper, and Elijah covered his face because he knew that God was in the gentle whisper. And I think about the way that God relates to us. You know, God doesn't come crashing into our lives. God doesn't, you know, force us into things. God deals with us gently. You know, just as we talked about this past Sunday with this, all the shepherd imagery, God deals with his people gently. And it's, it's quite often... Not the earthquake, the fire, the whirlwind that that shows us what God wants. It's that gentle whisper. And so as you go in through through your week this week, I encourage you, be listening for those gentle whispers of God, telling you that he loves you, telling you what steps to take, telling you that that you are his and that you are fruitful. So work on that this week. And we'll see you again next week. Have a great week. Bye-bye.